Hello everybody and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. My name is Wolfhart and uh, yeah, we're on our new Batania Island. And the reason I'm looking away from our stuff is because I've been doing quite a bit of work off camera. Who has spawned where? Oh, they're, they're down there. Okay, so. You'll notice half of that is gone. That is a chunk error. It's still there for some reason it just doesn't want to load. I'm not that worried about it. So I've been doing a little bit of work. You'll see there was the video at the beginning of us building this guy. And uh, I'm not too happy with it. It completely lacks any detail. I might use some different blocks to give it the color or whatever. Or we'll change it to something different. I don't know. I might do a flower. But uh... Right now, it's going to stay as this. This is all our Batania stuff. I haven't set anything up yet. Um, but I'm going to show you guys what I've been working on. And one of them still isn't finished. So, we've got... What's going to be the mob spawner. The uh, Blood Altar Island. And we've got... The work rooms. So, I've been working quite a bit, haven't done anything over here yet, haven't done the chickens, though the chickens are in the process of expanding and moving. Um, I'm getting some special chickens over here, these are for the reactor mod. Perfect! Just what I needed. Just what you guys are supposed to leave. Um, yeah, those guys are for the reactor mod. Uh, we've got the Prismarine chickens now, we've got Eulorium, we've got uh, Graphite, we have <laughs> Uranium, we have the XP chicken, we have a lot of freaking chickens. We have a leather chicken over there, he's a cow. Identity crisis much? Same with the villager chicken. Um... <laughs> I just think those two are hilarious. They got identity crisis. The snowball chicken. Um, yeah, our chickens are gonna be moving soon. Hi. I've been working to level up the longbow. I've noticed that I don't get any experience when I use the arrows with it, so I just spam smack the hell out of people. <laughs> And it levels it up a little bit. Yeah, 18 experience off of that. That is a nightmare right now that I don't want to go near. Hi. Thank you. Not that I really need that. <laughs> okay, so I'll toss that over there. Um, actually, I'm going to toss these, these as well. Because I really don't need them. I'm going to show you guys what I've actually been doing. Because I've really been doing a lot of work. You'll notice our chest here is gone. And you'll notice something new. A travel anchor. This is how are we going to be getting getting around areas now. So. Place one up here. It's in the ground. Doesn't take any power or anything. There's one in the Batania. There's one at the bottom of the uh, mob spawner area. Get out of there. Um, so there's one up there, there's one down there, one in Batania. Batania is actually inside. And it's got a path all the way down and an opening to get up. We'll figure out something better for that later on. Uh, we also have one in the floor over here. This is our crafting bench. It's going to be where all our Emmy or uh, refined storage auto crafting and complicated stuff is going to be at as you can see it's still a work in progress that is uh this one i really wanted to go with uh trying to get the detail it's the crafting bench right here um i built it originally out of this anti-block and some of it will stay some of it will not <laughs> so like these ones and the top actually don't look bad uh, but, like, right there, it doesn't look too good with the dark lines right there. But these and uh, 
Like that just looks really bad. And the complete lack of detail on everything else is what's really bothering me. So I'm, I might change little details here and there as we go. But this will be where all that fun stuff is going to be at. We've got an elevator here. Take us up to the roof. And I will show you guys. I'm about to change this. I'm actually going to close the lid on it. This is our new storage area. So I haven't figured out what exactly I'm going to do with this. But got our storage system got wireless network that goes over there and powers this which surprised me I've got an ender chest that's collecting all of the uh, the stuff from the chickens as well as sending in little random items I've done a little bit of reorganizing here you can go there I uh, did a little reorganizing and now I think it looks better Eventually, once this system is done, this ender chest is going to get moved back here. And it'll pump into the back. And a cable from this guy will wrap around the side. And is going to... Because uh, I don't know what I want to do with the sides yet. I might leave it like this. I might change it. But there, I think there's a way I can connect this to work with this. And it'll be able to access all the inventory in there. I think. But for now, let's go back over here and I'll finish showing everything I've been doing. Still debating about the Tinker's Island. No idea what I'm going to do. Uh, this stuff down here hasn't changed much. I cleaned that up a little bit. Got this wireless transmitter up here, which is supposed to make it wireless. Doesn't work. As you can see, this is all disappearing. I actually have everything unlocked. Nothing is going in here. Ooh, the feathers are done. Awesome. You can collect those. Uh, looks like it was pulling emeralds earlier. It's just been kind of pulling at random. Kind of bothers me, but eh, it works. It's working. It's doing its job. Everything's dumping into the inner chest there, which we're going to use with that thing in the new chicken farm. So that's going to work there. Today I want to do the... Uh, we're not going to build the chicken just yet. We're going to build the battery. Which I decided the battery is going to have all of our power generation. So grid power, RF power, all of that stuff. So we're going to build a huge mechanism for these guys. And I've got lots of wood. I've got lots of... Uh, Hay bales. I do not have a lot of their eggs. <sighs> I think I have one up here. Well, I have all these lava eggs here, but I don't have any actual like chicken eggs. Let me set the guy in here. Conveniently right in front of me. I'm going to set him in there. He'll lay a bunch of eggs. He'll stay sitting in there. We're going to build it off over this way. I haven't decided exactly where, and I don't have a very specific design in mind just yet. So I want to build it kind of like it'll look in here. I kind of want to make this, this kind of thing. Can I make one of those for a sample? Oh, I can absolutely make that. I should have the chisel in here. Yep, there it is. Get that out of there. Uh, iron and stone. These factory blocks I haven't even used. Boom. So I think we're going to use this kind of as a... Uh, something to go on like I said I don't know how big I'm gonna do it everything I've been doing so far is a one-to-one uh, -one pixel to block size except for that guy that guy I made special um, I might do that size I might do a little bit bigger I haven't exactly decided so if we go with that size we go with a 16 pixel 
size. Man, I'm losing words here. Um, <laughs> hmm. I want to curve it. So I want to actually make it round. I got to figure out how I want to do that. Uh, and this is one of those perfect examples of why this is going to be amazing. Let's see. We go to single bits. We can build a sample of it before we even get up there. Uh, let's see. We'll say drawn region. Let's see. If we want to make it round. It's got to be like uh, where are those at? They're there. Uh, kind of like that. I don't know. Let's see how this looks. And there we go. I can undo that. Let me do that for the other sides, and I'll be right back. I think it looks pretty good. But what we'll actually end up doing is, like, we will extend this part out a little bit. Probably to here. So I think I can say like, let's do a drawn region to in. Okay, take all that out. There we go. That's a little bit better. It'll be there, there. What did I do? One, two, one, two. So we'll do something like this. This is probably my best use of chisel and bits right here. Building miniature versions of what I'm going to build. And then we'll absolutely raise that up one. So that'll probably be what we build. Now I just got to figure out how I want to build it and how I want to color it. So, we're going to need orange, red, black, and gray. We have these guys. So, this is orange. <laughs> Look at this stuff. Uh, let's make a chiseled bit bag real quick. It's a whole bunch of wool. All my string is gone already. Dang it! Alright. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's deal with this real quick. Strings over here. And I haven't used this thing in a little while. But I will take our crafting bench on a... Or a crafting table on a stick. 
Let's go do this. And now... That can all go in there. I will hold on to one. And it will automatically replace from the bag. And it'll automatically go into the bag as we use. So. Uh, we'll put this guy away. We don't really need him. Go back over here. These anti-blocks might be pretty good for this one. Just because... Well, like, you can see they've got the grays, they've got, a, they've got a black, they've got a lighter gray. They've got an orange, and they have a yellow, which we might use for the middle bar there. It's like, we'll say we'll do that. We'll do that. Do that. I guess I don't need to do those. And we will do... Uh, black. Hmm. I don't know. What do we think? I'm not going to copy the little designs or whatever. I just need to copy like the main look of it. We also need to get out... Not Rod of the Lands, our Angel Block. So we'll build it... Here. That'll be one of the corners for it. I need my thing. <laughs> I don't have anything to look at. Okay, we're going to do this real quick. Put a little uh, platform to look at it around. And then we will get started on building. Now, I don't do a whole lot of this actual building on camera. Because a lot of them, I've been able to cheat, just use, like, that one was almost entirely done with, uh, this filler. <laughs> I just put it in the corners and just ran the lines. Uh, that was pretty easy. That one, you could see in the video, I didn't, I didn't do too much with the filler. That was almost nothing but filler. That was definitely the most complicated thing I've had to build so far. Right there with this. And the chicken is going to be amazing looking. Um, this might be the next most complicated thing I've ever have, I'll ever have to build. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But uh, I really want to build this. I'm getting like an echo right now. In one sec. Okay, so we've got our little platform. I brought the battery over. So we get an idea of what it's like. Apparently it's uh, very gray on the bottom. We'll change that a little bit. I want to see if I can get this block placement down for it. Um, I did get some more of these anti-blocks. Because I know we're going to need more than what we have. So let's see if we can get this bottom row placed out. It's a bit annoying. We'll go ahead... One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. I really want to see this. We'll probably replace uh, like these three with a uh, light gray. Could do like a gradient thing. I mean, it's gonna stand out no matter what we do, but look a little different. Hmm.
We'll figure this out. We'll do one quarter of this at a time. Okay, so let's eat. Oh, <laughs> thought I moved more than I did. All right, so it's that and that. Do that, that. That, that. Okay, it's not looking terrible. I think I got the right pattern on it. See if we can get the rest of this down. This is just weird trying to do it this way. Maybe it'll uh, look a little better once we actually have the whole like bottom row, bottom layer built. What am I doing? That's not how it goes. There we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, I loved when they added this in in Minecraft. In vanilla. Never have I been so happy to have a torch in my offhand. Hey. How's that look? Eh, not terrible. Let's go ahead and do our ring of these ones. i turn that off. That's not what I wanted to place. Uh, this and this. Now we're gonna need a lot of those, and we're also gonna want this guy, just because he's gonna make it nice and easy. So we'll do it like this. Not like that. We'll do that. And now we're gonna shape the next layer. Or layer? The next layer is gonna be another Four. And one. Yeah, my dog is barking. God dang it, Furball, why are you barking so much? Hey, right, now we're going to go ahead and go with these guys all through the center. This is where... Why do we have blue? And this guy comes in handy. Oh, right. Got to change the block type. Uh, there. To there. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Starting to look like the bottom of a battery. Okay, the circles aren't perfect, but eh, whatever. I'm like, why does this look so off? Because that's even and this is... This platform is odd. 
All right, so now we got to build the layers up. The whole interior is going to be off. Uh, let's get a travel anchor. I did make a couple of them. You can, you can tell I am not very organized. I'm going to build you... Probably... I can manage to stay on here. Hi! Bye, spider. Mm. No arrows necessary. Goodbye. Bye, spider. Pop. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, place a few torches. Keep anything else from spawning, I'm out of torches. There's something else I need to get into. It's the uh, the mineral. That stuff is, should, is supposed to be good for uh, the magnum torches. Which eventually I want to place one in each of the structures. And... Our mob farm is going to get moved, like, drastically away. Eventually, we'll find, like, a spawner system or something or whatever. We'll spawn a, uh... We'll create a dimension for the mob farm and find a way to keep it chunk loaded. Oh, I gotta work on building this up a little bit. Um, I'll bring you guys back when we get to probably the next layer, because the rest of this is all going to be, like, the light gray... And we'll do a little just a stripe of the very, it'll be all be gray with a stripe of light gray in the middle somewhere. And I got to figure out how tall it is. So let me get to building.